you know, everybody talks, you know, farm to table, farm to fork. We talk rooftop to fork and it's only an elevator right away. One of the things that we're interested in our Department of Horticulture is transformational student experiences. And they are experiencing something transformational up here. When you walk off those elevators and you look into those gardens, it stops you in your tracks. So we're up on the rooftop of the Rain Culinary Sciences Center. This is a, a phenomenal place. The school director for hospitality um, and our dean in the College of Ag, we all got together and talked about this opportunity and what would it mean to engage horticulture students with this program to be able to grow plants up here that could be used in the restaurant downstairs, six floors below here. We have a unique situation here where we're operating a garden that needs to be functional and beautiful. And of course, there's a partnership between us and horticulture and the culinary science department and the hospitality department. So I really felt like we needed someone that would help us bridge that gap. So we have the horticulture side and the culinary side. And so we've hired uh, Jack Maruna as a project manager. He has experience in both horticulture um, and on the culinary side. And he was really a perfect fit for us and he's helped us bridge that gap. Hi, I'm Jack Maruna. I'm the consulting project manager at the Rain Culinary Center Rooftop Gardens. One of the first things you obviously you notice up here is the fact that the views are incredible. So this building was built in this location for a lot of reasons. One of the reasons being um, you get a 360 view of Auburn. Um, this is now the tallest building, barring of course the steeples of Sanford and some of the churches around here. Um, what we're saying is on game day with the right conditions, you're actually going to be able to see kickoff, which is super exciting. Of course, you're going to be able to hear the games as well. Um, you have an amazing view of Sanford and Sanford Lawn. Um, it gives people that aren't from Auburn a great image of what we're about here, right? It's the true beauty of the Plains, which is super exciting. This is our Garden of Eden. It has been for the past four months. Uh, the project had, was taken over by the horticulture department um, as invited by the Rain Culinary Center. Um, right now we have 4,400 square feet of rooftop garden space. Um, obviously, it is a challenge because we are working in extreme conditions up here. So one of the biggest challenges up front was learning how to deal with the current conditions on the rooftop um, and be successful in growing plants. Everything that comes up here has to go through a single elevator. Um, sometimes we're waiting on the elevator. Beyond that though, just the, you know, being on top of a roof, um, away from everything else, all full exposure. So everything's full sun, it's hot, it's windy all the time. There's no wind breaks. We've learned about that. And then water access. So we do have water, uh, but it has to all be pumped up here and we have our own water station. And a couple of times we've had no water and that has been challenging. So, you know, we, we're learning. We were worried about some things like pollinators. Um, we didn't know if the bees and butterflies and hummingbirds would come up here, but they do. And it's been exciting to see. So right here to our right, we have all of our vegetable trials. Um, we currently have two master students um, that over the next two years will gain their masters solely on this rooftop. We're obviously super excited for the students opportunity to be involved up here both undergrad and both master's students. Um, one of the things that we're most excited about is the fact that our students get to interact with the culinary students as well, right? So culinary students are going to be up here harvesting plants with our students and vice versa. Our students are going to get to, going to, get to go down to the kitchens and learn how these plants that we're growing up here are prepared for both faculty, staff, and the public. I would like to welcome you to 1856 Culinary Residence, which is our teaching restaurant within the Tony and Liberain Culinary Science Center. It's a small teaching facility that only has uh, 46 seats in the restaurant, a private dining room of 12, and six seats at the bar for walk-ins. Um, the concept is, is really unique and very special. It's the first of its kind anywhere in the world where we have an a la carte menu uh, for lunch and a tasting menu for dinner, uh, which is seven to nine courses. 
We have a chef in residence program and this first year is Chef Tyler Line. Hi, my name is Chef Tyler. Uh, I'm the resident chef of 1856. Every year you'll get a new chef um, that'll rotate through 1856. So what's kind of cool about the whole program is that you're getting real world uh, professionals in a teaching environment, which those don't really exist. You know, if you're in college, you're sort of getting education that is a few years behind the current actual. And so this is a good example uh, of actually working with professionals that have running, operating, successful uh, businesses in the wild. The rooftop garden is an asset because it's always good to sort of vertically integrate. If you can bring things from locally sourced, right, that's ideal. So having things on your roof uh, is going to be plucked and then served, you know, at its height of uh, perkiness, at its height of life, at its, uh, it's going to be the most full, the, the, have the best color, have the best flavor. You know, the minute you pick uh, a fresh, sweet ear of corn, you know, you've got 10 minutes to eat that corn before those sugars start to break down. You know, so time does, time is an enemy in this sense, as well as sort of the urban farming being a really important evolution of how we do our foodstuffs uh, in the world, that is real estate that is prime. Our goal on this rooftop was for everything to be edible. So we say either the fruit, the foliage, or the flowers of the plants can be used for consumption. So as we continue this way, um, you'll see obviously a lot of things up here are ornamental in nature, but they are edible as well. So flowers like these we'll use both in the rooms for the hotel as fresh cut flowers, um, but also they're gonna be able to use them to garnish cocktails and dishes and stuff like that. When we wanna harvest up here, we have to realize that we can't harvest everything at once like you would do in a traditional garden. We have to be very specific with how we harvest so that it doesn't affect the way the garden looks. Gardening is an everyday thing, so our students are up here every morning. Um, and they work all the way through the summer, so it's been um, you know, a really exciting experience for them. Hard work, and a lot of what they do is they are curating the garden, so to speak. So they're making everything look nice all the time once we plant. So there's a lot of prep work that has to be done. After that's done, it's sort of taking care and babying these plants. And you know, we tell them that it's got to be functional, but it's also got to be beautiful, so they work a lot on that. I've been thoroughly impressed with our students. Uh, a lot of the work up here is not glamorous as you would probably expect. Um, a lot of blood, sweat and tears has gone into this garden and making it uh, look the way it does, but also holding it to a standard that the Rain Culinary Center is holding it to and also our department is holding it to. So many mornings, um, lots of 110, 115 degree days, direct sunlight, just as it is hard on our plants up here, it's also extremely hard on our students, and all of them have done it with a smile on their face, which is incredible. Because our project on this rooftop um, is so exciting um, and so visible, we have had the opportunity to attract students from all different walks. When I first met uh, with Dr. Lane, Desmond Lane, I thought he would want to talk about what we can plant on that rooftop. But our conversation very quickly started with can you imagine a horticulture student on that rooftop working in those gardens, the horticulturalist in training, and a student in the School of Hospitality Management, a culinary science option major, starting to talk together. So you have the, the farmer, the horticulturalist in training, talking to the end user and vice versa. What magic will happen? Because many of our students may have never set foot on a farm. And we have essentially a working farm up there. It finally links both the preparation of the food and where it comes from. We are trying to become food you here. It is full circle. That is our goal. And this rooftop gives us the ultimate opportunity to show our students all the steps that it takes to get food from the ground to someone's plate. I don't think that there's another land grant university in the U.S. that has a culinary sciences building with a rooftop garden where horticulture students are growing the fruits, the vegetables, the flowers, the herbs, and those are supporting a student-run restaurant down below. I think that's pretty unique. 
and it's certainly a drawing point for future students to come to Auburn. And we're excited about the way horticulture students and culinary students and hospitality students will all sort of intermingle and work together in the years to come. It's a fabulous opportunity.